Welcome to my thesis proposal. My name is Luis Alberto Rubio and I'm Professor Daniels Research Assistant. The title of this thesis is a Spatial Data Analysis Tool for the Optimization of Aid to Victims. Objectives The general objective is to optimize government aid for the victims of a natural disaster with the use of a spatial analyst. There are two specific objectives. The first one is to develop a tool to perform a spatial analysis to validate the information from the records of victims. The second one is to differentiate between victims affected and people who doesn't qualify for the government aid. Research questions. I have four research questions. Which are the most common mistakes to identify addresses of the properties? Is the information from the only record of victims adequate? Which are the most common causes of duplicate or cancelled records? How accurate is the information recorded in the only record of victims? Theoretical Framework Before I start, I will explain two acronyms. The first one is RUD, Only Record of Victims, which is a database that stores information of victims of natural disasters in the country, and the second one is UNGDR, National Unit for Disaster Risk, which is the Government Agency for Disaster Response. Colombia is a country highly vulnerable to damages caused by natural disasters. According to estimates by the Inter-American Development Bank, the country is one of the most vulnerable to natural disasters in Latin America, with more than 8 in 10 Colombians located in disaster-prone areas and 87% of the gross domestic product. More than 150 natural disasters have affected Colombia in the last 40 years, claiming lives of over 32,000 people and affecting more than 12 million. It's important to differentiate the different types of affected people, such as the victim and the affected individual, according to the definition given by the United Nations. Victims. People who have suffered serious damage digitally associated with the event, it could be a partial loss or the total of a property or death of household members. Affected. People who suffer indirect or secondary effects, they are people different from victims suffering the impact of side effects of disaster as deficiencies, for example, the provision of public services. Before the call that hit Colombia in 2010, no record of affected people was had, so the only record of victims was created in 2011. I will briefly explain the process of records. There are some local committees that collect information manually and send it to the state government, which send it to the national government and this way people can get the financial aid they need. But in many cases, the capabilities were quickly overwhelmed so that in certain regions, the record was poor and the accuracy of the data deficient. Nowadays, the only record of victims is managed by the National Unit for Disaster Management. The problem. The problem is subdivided in three problems. Fragmentation of information systems, number of affected people is greater than the total population, and wrong validation of information. Here you can see an example of the first problem, where the only record of victims has a greater number of affected people dead, missing persons, and injured, than the National Unit for Disaster Management, and it's because they don't share information. For my project, I will use the only record of victims database because it's the official record that the government uses for financial aid. The second problem, number of affected people is greater than the total population. I found an article called The Impact of the 2010-2011 La Niña Phenomenon in Colombia. In the research, they made a map of affected people normalized by the total population and they found that 37 municipalities had anomalous normalized values higher than 1. The most extreme cases were observed in some municipalities from the Pacific and Caribbean states, where the number of affected individuals was nearly twice the total population. They believe this was a consequence of inaccurate population projection from the 2005 census or incorrect registration from individuals affected by flooding with many individuals registered multiple times. The last problem is the validation of the information. The picture you see is one of the three pilot exercises in the Atlantic, Barge and Antioquia municipalities. They found that 30% of the registered homes to be rebuilt not required or did not exist. But at the end, everyone got a new house and if you see in the picture, there are some properties that are completely fluid and ones that are not. Methodology 
The methodology followed is the application of three steps to meet the general objective based on case studies and academic papers. The first step to solve the problem is to properly identify the properties affected by the disaster. For this, I will use the addresses of affected records to locate the property by geocoding or topographic concepts as triangulation. The second step is the validation of property. It involves using satellite and aerial photographs to verify that indeed the site was affected. Using a case of study of Japanese World Bank Risk and Damage Information Management and a software called Socket, the differences in the images will be identified and this corresponds to the damages suffered by the properties. The final step is the comparison of databases, it refers to the proper management of the data to be exchanged between different databases and to corroborate more information from the records of victims, as well as create new databases for future times. Resources For the research investigation, I will need more academic journal articles, someone help programming the pilot, I will need the records of victims from the state of Cundinamarca, which is the place chosen for the pilot, photographs and two softwares, RGAS and Socket. Timetable Below is the timetable. I will spend one year with the thesis because I have to take two important subjects first, but for the second semester of 2015 I will have full time to work on this investigation research. From January to June, I'll be gathering important information and thinking in the design of the pilot tool and special analyst tools that I can use. In the second semester, I will be constructing, implementing and analyzing the pilot project in the state of Cundinamarca. In November, I will be writing the final document to be presented in December. Bibliography The response to decision-making in complex emergencies is often undetermined by inadequate planning and erroneous data. Therefore, the use of new tools to locate people and the properties associated information such as family composition, characteristics of properties, income, is required using a geographic information system to obtain an accurate record control and to avoid misinformation. Therefore, a special analyst software tool to optimize the victim record along with the GIS are the mechanisms capable of running this control effectively. Consequently, government, human rights observers, and relief agencies that are responsible for the challenge of implementing the delivery of aid operations in areas devastated by natural disaster or war have a mechanism to optimize the process carried out. Confidence will be generated with these new technologies for future research projects. If you have any comments to improve research, please let me know. Thank you very much for listening.